Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron. Today I'm going to go over another tool of the week and talk about the SeaTech battery charger. This is the actual charger that I use on my cars. It is a BMW branded SeaTech charger. I will put a link to this and some of the accessories in the description of this video. SeaTech AB is a Swedish company with a worldwide reputation. They were the first company to pioneer the smart car charger, and they have continued to lead the industry with state-of-the-art technology to give your vehicles the best charge and maintenance available. Now, these are not just for emergencies after you come out to the garage and find a dead battery. The SeaTech battery chargers are also designed for long-term maintenance. Now, while they can save you from failure, they can also prevent problems before they happen. So to me, what makes the SeaTec so great is how it takes care of your battery with its eight stage approach combined with the simplicity of it all. All you have to do is plug one end into your car and plug one in into a regular wall outlet and the SeaTec charger will automatically take care of the rest. Now there are several different methods that you can use to connect it to your car. I will come back to those later in the video. But once it's connected to your car, you just plug it into the wall and your charger will begin to cycle through the first six lights. It is running the battery through some tests. It's gonna check the condition of your battery and then it's gonna charge it. Once the battery is fully charged, it then trickle charges your battery to keep it alive and healthy until you use the car. So for my Porsche Boxster, the battery is located right here and I use one of the SeaTec accessories that has a nice handy flashing light on it. So you saw that it was red when I connected it. That means that the battery is not fully charged, and while it's charging here, it is flashing green. Once it is solid green, you know your battery is good, so by leaving that little pigtail hanging out, all I have to do is open the trunk, and I can see the condition of my battery with that light. Now on my BMW M4, I have a similar setup, although the battery of this car is in the trunk, and it is also a lithium ion battery. So for my uh, connection here, I have this connection going to the positive terminal under the hood. And for the negative, I have it connected here, which is intended to be a ground. And uh, I have a similar thing here, although I do not have the one with the light. So this is a cheaper option without the light because I rarely go under here and ever see it. So I don't need the light. And I have another video on installing this, but uh, it's really easy. So to connect it here, I can just leave the wire coming out under the hood if I leave this for prolonged periods so that it can keep this battery good. These SeaTec chargers can greatly prolong the life of your battery. And if the lithium ion battery on my M4 dies, I'm looking at around $1,500. Yes, $1,500 for a new one. Now SeaTec does provide many different styles of chargers. I chose this one specifically because I have some vehicles with normal lead acid batteries. And then I have the M4 that uses that lithium ion battery. And eventually in my motorcycles, I might put in a lithium ion battery. So with this charger, you use the mode button to toggle through these four different options. The ones with the car icon are for typically larger batteries and the motorcycle icon is for motorcycle use with vehicles that have smaller batteries. The main difference is the amount of amperage that it tries to charge with so that if you have a smaller battery, it will not try to overload it. Now once this seventh light, the one that says seven, if you can see that and is shaped like a battery, when it turns green, that means the battery is fully charged and the car goes into maintenance mode. If the battery voltage drops, the charger will resume its operation and this eighth light will turn green, indicating that the battery is being topped off. So these chargers are selling for about $125 right now on Amazon. They come with these alligator clips that have a little connector to connect them to the charger. Also available, obviously, are the ones that you saw on my vehicles. And this is another accessory that you can get. They call it a Comfort Connect. It is essentially an extension cord. So I use this if I need to charge the M4 for a long period of time and have this run up under the hood to that connection. So yeah, I love my SeaTech charger and no, they're not sponsoring me, unfortunately, or giving me anything for this, but hey, SeaTech, Plenty of room on the Diamond Donor membership level if you guys are interested. 
So are you guys using CTEX or is there something else you like? Please drop a comment below and let me know if you have any questions as well down there. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you for the next tool of the week.